So I've got a video on birdhouses for you. Uh, we need to do some stuff to get set up here. We need 30 smithing for steel bars, 25 construction to get the workbench to, 5 hunter, which we can get from the museum quiz, 5 crafting we can get from mistful and mystery, and 38 thieving is going to make it easier to get op hops and herb seeds. So it's kind of the basic requirements. For the 30 smithing, you're going to need 26 copper and tin ore. Turn those into bars, turn that into knives, about 240 iron to get level 30, and that's because you have a 50% smelt success. Again, smith knives. Finally, we want eight steel bars. We're going to use that for four clockworks and four of the steel bars to make 60 steel nails for when we start our construction. So I'm just kind of walking through right now different areas you can get these ores. So we've got Lumbridge Swamp, both east and west side. Uh, Varrock, there's a mine southwest and southeast. Draenor has got a mine kind of south of it. That's the same as the, the Lumbridge West Swamp. So they kind of show off some of the uh, the closest banks to them, too, if you look at the mini-map. So nothing too complicated here. Just get your ore. I'm going to be doing the production, so it'll be pretty quick for me to smelt my stuff. Should be able to just head on over to Edgeville once you have everything and get the bars going. Really no requirements before that. You can get clay at this one, too, southwest of Iraq. Barbarian Village might be the easiest way to get coal because there's so many darn rocks. I don't know how many people are going to be mining coal, but... So yeah, let's use at least four bars to make some steel nails. We'll need four clockworks as well. Nails are kind of really expensive from the sawmill, so you should really probably make your own. You'll be spending a lot of your cash stack otherwise. So we're kind of ready for construction now. Uh, we needed the nails before we could really do this. So let's get 18 planks and 18 oak planks. You're really going to need some more regular logs too, uh, eventually some oak logs. But we need to make a crafting table one out of some of the oak planks. And then we'll get a molten grass as well. Molten grass, molten glass. Uh, the molten glass is actually harder than it seems. We need a seaweed, which is either a 1 in 100 drop from baby implings, or as I showed on screen, a 3 out of 32 from ammonite crabs. So when you're doing your early melee or range training, you try to find these. They can drop in different amounts, but we only need one for what we're doing. So we'll get a bucket of sand from Xanaris. And with the seaweed and bucket of sand, we'll throw that seaweed on a range to get soda ash. And if we have soda ash and a bucket of sand in our inventory, we can go use a furnace to get a molten glass. The molten glass is just to upgrade our workbench. Now we need to make sure we have easy access to seeds. So for thieving, we're going to do 61 men, 22 female ham members, and then 231 male ham members. Now doing the ham members, you should try and collect an entire set, two sets realistically, of ham robes. Uh, one is for you to wear while you're thieving. The other one is going to be for, I think his name is Zamek, if we uh, end up doing like Death to the Dorgashin and stuff. Once we hit 38 thieving, we can come over here and steal from Master Farmers. It's going to be a pain at first, but we need hop seeds or herb seeds. So I have the total materials listed on the screen. That's pretty much everything we need to get started here. The biggest time grind, really, I think for us early on, is going to be that seaweed. It sounds weird, but they're not easy to come by and just miss the limb. So here I tear down my workbench just to show myself making it. Workbench 1 takes 4 oak planks. And then to upgrade it is one molten glass. Once we have the workbench two made, all you have to do is craft on it. And we want four steel bars to make four clockworks. My birdhouses already have clockworks on this account, so I only make one. Because as you tear down your birdhouses, you get the clockworks back. So you only need the seeds and the logs. So on a run, bring yourself a chisel, a hammer, four logs of your choice for your level, 40 low level, or uh, 20 high level seeds. And then if you have on a dig site pendant and we do two teleports, We've got Verdant Valley and Mushroom Meadow that each have two birdhouse locations. So we get to do four in total every 50 minutes or so. I'll put some stats on the screen. So quite a bit of crafting experience and a crazy amount of hunter experience after that five times the XP. I didn't put any of the higher level logs up there because we're going to have a hard time finding teak. Uh, I don't know if there is any maple tree in the Misthalen area. So Willow is the highest we have easy access to until you get up to you. 
you is a little bit higher level, but you know, once you get there, you're probably unlocking more areas anyway. So less concerned about the bird runs at that point. So real quick, let's talk about what else we can get from these. Bird nests are great. We can also get some unenchanted rings, which might be nice for recoils or rings of forging in the future. If you want more iron bars, I don't know why you would. Rings of dueling too. Um, you can get more tree seeds. So the tree seeds can help us with our farming levels. Uh, overall, it's just a really easy way to up your crafting and up your hunter level. We don't have a good, a lot of good ways to train hunter around here, but once we hit, I think it's level 80, we get to do herbivore. Uh, we might end up making a video on that, but at the same time, once you're that high of a level, there'll be other ways to get herbs. Thanks, guys.